What's up, guys? Welcome back to Jones Subwoofer Solutions. Today we've got more amp dynos for you. And this is an amp that was sent to me by Mr. Music Man. Another one of his new models. This is called the X2000. That we'll be testing today. Specs on it, you can see here, has one ohm rating of 2000 watts, a two ohm rating of 1200 watts, and a four ohm rating of 650 watts. Some other info there. It does say uh, not to use this model under one ohm, it shows NA for half ohm. So we will skip half ohm on this one for sure today. Sorry guys. But uh, we're not going to damage damage anything unnecessarily. Uh, if I get a hold of that 3500 though, as you can see there, it shows half ohm. We'll definitely be running that at half ohm. So there it is. It's a good looking amp. Sorry, I've got it a little dirty. It's been on my dyno for just a minute and I'm just getting to it. Uh, but we do have it hooked up using our dual inputs. And we run a 2 aught welding cable in those, but they're one aught dual inputs and 12 gauge or I think that's 10 gauge actually on the speaker wire so drop your guesses below 2000 watts to Mr. Music Man and I'll catch you on the dyno we'll see what this does all right guys here we are front row seat at the dyno and we'll see what this Mr. Music Man X2000 will do and we're just going to start with certified. We're going to run 4 ohm, then 2 ohm, then 1 ohm. And then we'll move on through to uncertified and dynamic. So again, rated uh, 650 watts at 4 ohms. Let's get to it. Certified. And 4 ohms. Again, guys, that was rated 650 watts. And we're starting right at about 15 volts here. Uh, I didn't mean to get it this high, but uh, you know, it is what it is. So we're right at about 15, we'll see some drop. Let's see what this does. All right, we got 729 watts into four ohms dropping to 14.9 volts. So we did uh, see more than their rated. Their, their rating is at 14.4 volts, just so you guys know. So we should come in just slightly above rated on all these. So two ohms, certified. And certified is up to 1% distortion. Two ohms, this is rated 1200 watts. We're at 14.97 volts. Let's see what this does. And we got 1,239 watts into two ohms, dropping to 14.85 volts. So, so far so good. And moving on, we'll do a one ohm run, certified. And again, this was 2000 watts rated at one ohm. Starting at 14.9 volts, let's see what she does. Not quite there, we got 1000. 862 watts into one ohm dropping to 14.7 volts uh, not too bad but that's that's a little under what it's rated um, that may be factored into the price though guys so price dollar per watt this may be worth it I actually don't know what this model will be priced at or is priced at so moving on we'll go to uh, our uncertified tests and uncertified is into clipping most amps will see a little bit more power here 
So uncertified again, we're gonna start with four ohms. And again, we were rated 650 watts. I did it before, so I uh, won't be surprised if we see more than that uh, again. So here we go, starting at 15 volts. I'm on the C-Max, got no charging going on. Just floating on the C-Max. Four ohms rated 650 watts. And we got 743 watts, dropping to 14.9 volts. Really not bad for this. Uh, moving on to two ohms. Starting at 14.95 volts. Again, this is all the way to clipping. And we got 1,305 watts into two ohms. We dropped to 14.81 volts. So pretty strong performance at four and two ohms. Let's see what uncertified brings us at one ohm. And again, one ohm is into clipping. I'm sorry, uncertified is into clipping. So here we go. We're starting at 14.91 volts, rated 2000 watts. Will we see it? Yeah, we did with a little bit of clipping. 2007 watts into one ohm, we dropped to 14.7 volts. So we'll go on now to uh, dynamic. And dynamic, again, we'll start at four ohms. Dynamic is a burst track. It's a 40 hertz burst. And some amps, depending on the power supply, some amps do much better here than anywhere else. Some amps don't do much better than their uncertified or certified ratings. So we'll see where this one does. We're at 14.9 volts. Burst test at four ohms. So we get just over 750 watts, 754 watts into four ohms, dropping to 14.91 volts. And we'll see what this can do at two ohm dynamic. Again, a burst track. Overrated again. 1,349 watts into two ohms. Dropped to 14.85 volts. And last test, finally, we'll see what it does on dynamic at one ohm. And we're at 14.9 volts starting. Here we go. Again, this is rated 2000 watts. And we got 2,169 watts into one ohm, dropped to 14.75 volts. So not too shabby. Uh, this amp uh, seems to be pretty good. I just didn't make it on that certified one ohm run. And if I know uh, what Mr. Music Man has done in the past, he will just price these accordingly and he will let you know uh, what these results were. He won't deceive you. So uh, I'm gonna put up a summary of these results. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, we'll get this amp taken apart. We'll look, we'll look inside and uh, go from there. So I'll catch you guys back on the bench.
All right, guys, back on the bench. Got this opened up. We can take a better look inside. So those are 25 volt caps, it looks like. And 100 volt caps. A little different than some of the amps I've seen recently. But these are Chinese boards, you guys may know another amp that this is similar to if you do go ahead and drop it but we can take a further look at this i'll start at this end here so you do get a couple lights you get a, a power light a warning light and uh like a protector clip light and then uh the, the base remote i do have but i you know i can't find it right now like i said it's been a minute since i threw this on the bench just getting to it now but it does have uh, the standard mr. music man type bass remote it's a phone jack on one side and headphone jack on the other and these are strappable so you've got your inputs your uh, bridge output uh, you got your gain levels low pass filter goes from 40 Hertz to 220 Hertz your subsonic filter is off up to 50 Hertz has a variable bass boost from 30 to 80 hertz and 0 to 12 dB and uh, it has the Q control which allows you to adjust that bass boost a little bit and there's a switch that allows you to enable the clip limiter so I of course ran it with it off so that we could see some power with it clipping that's uh, up to you guys how you would run it so on the other end We do have uh, pretty beefy speaker outputs uh, and you see the note there, 1 ohm minimum. Uh, I did fit my 10 gauge speaker wire in there fine, an oversized remote wire there. And these are pretty beefy for one aught inputs. I think you could fit, uh, you know, oversized stuff like sky high net in there. Uh, the 2 aught welding cable was a slim fit, barely got it in there. So that is a look at the Mr. Music Man X2000. Again, let me know what you guys think of that. I do have a couple more for Mr. Music Man. We'll run in the future. And as always, I want to thank you guys. If you have any suggestions, any recommendations, any requests, please drop them below. I've had a lot of uh, people ask if they can send me amps. Uh, I, I can. Um, it may be a few weeks out. I may have your amp for a minute. But I'll happily run your amps. Just contact me. Uh, but as always, guys, I want to thank you. Please give me a like. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell so that you're notified when we post a new video. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. I am a professional thief. You need to keep your cameras on me. I will steal your heart before you display it, before you even let me see. Swap it out with mine, an organ of value that's been decreased. Depreciating by the weeks, no counterparts, your time's up. Sorry, it's broken, you just got beat. Been worried about the watermarks. My friend pulled a dead body out the ocean, blue lips. That's a watermark, see what I did? Couldn't help but think it sink or swim in between. How goddamn ungrateful that I've been. Positivity, if I could just keep it and of the well-rested, I am Mr. Sleepless. Best work, followed by a day of self-help.